Hello, I'm Dr. Steve Hotze, and welcome to Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution webinar. Today, we're going to discuss the benefits of full spectrum hemp oil. Now, I believe that you and everybody needs to have a doctor and a staff of professionals who can coach you on a path of health and wellness naturally. So as you mature, you've got energy, you got vitality, and you're enthusiastic about life. Yeah, you're filled with the spirit of God and you're ready to go and make something of your day and accomplish your goals. That's what I believe you need. And you need that without using pharmaceutical drugs. Today, we're talking about the benefits of full spectrum hemp oil. Now, you've heard the term hemp. You've heard the term CBD oil. I'm going to talk to you about hemp oil, which is a plant named cannabis ruderalis. Ah, the word cannabis sounds familiar, doesn't it? That would be cannabis is a plant also known as marijuana, cannabis sativa. The hemp plant and the marijuana plant are cousins. They both have the same first name, cannabis. The hemp plant is made into all kinds, has been made for centuries, thousands of years into all kinds of products. Hemp clothing, hemp rugs, hemp ropes. Hemp has been a common product. It's been used for medicinal purposes for thousands of years. It does not contain much, if any, of THC, which is the medic, which is the product in cannabis sativa, the marijuana plant that causes the high. THC is tetra, uh, tetra hydrol cannabinoid, and it's or cannabinol, THC. It is the psychotropic drug that causes people to kind of get high when they smoke marijuana. The hemp plant and the full, uh, full uh, spectrum hemp oil doesn't contain that. So we're going to talk today about the benefits of full spectrum hemp oil for three primary, three primary focuses. First, for pain. Second, for sleep. Third, for anxiety. Although it can be used and has been used to address many different medical problems. So we're going to talk about the cannabinoid system. And we're going to talk about the endocannabinoid system. See the word? Cannabinoid, in, in the word in endocannabinoid, that relates to cannabis. It's derived from the word cannabis. Endo means from within. You may not be aware, but within your system, you have an endocannabinoid system. And this was discovered in the 1970s when scientists were trying to figure out what is the THC, the psychotropic uh, oil in the marijuana plant, what is it attached to in the cells that causes it to give people a high? Well, it attaches to receptors in the system, in our bodies, in the cells that are there because we have cannabinoids that we make within our own bodies. And we're going to discuss that. So let's go to the next slide. And I'll give you a signal like that. And you'll know that's it. I believe in integrated wellness. And what does that mean? I believe we need to address underlying allergic disorders. We need to address improper eating programs. We need to address yeast. We need to address hormone imbalance and, de and decline. We need to replenish with vitamins and, minima, uh, vitamins and minerals. And we also need to have a good exercise program as well as a good healthy eating program. And I think it's important for us to think correctly. So we need to have positive attitudes and spiritually, we need to be strong spiritually. These things are very important in our overall integrated health and wellness program. This is Dr. Derek De Silva. I met Dr. De Silva two years ago at the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. He was speaking on uh, some products, natural products to protect the heart to prevent and heal the heart when it has coronary artery disease. I became a friend of his, began to communicate with him. And Dr. De Silva contacted me one day and we began to talk and he told me that he was using CBD oil in the form of hemp oil in his practice. And I went, really? Now, 
over the last three or four years, you know as well as I do, there's been all this publicity and marketing of CBD oil. And CBD oil is derived from cannabis. It can be derived from cannabis sativa, the marijuana plant. It can be derived, it's an oil, it can be derived from the hip plant. As it turns out, it's one of only many oils. There are over 100 different oils in these plants in, in different um, chemicals, some terpenes and other, other products that are within these plants. And it's just one of many of the oils. So <clears throat> all those oils work together and can be used together to provide health and wellness in the system. But I wasn't convinced that this was really anything that was really beneficial. You know, whenever a new product's on the line, everybody complains it's going to be the panacea and the cure-all and end-all of everything. From what I heard, the CBD oil can cure everything from bald head like I'm developing to ingrown toenails and everything in between. And so when everybody, when anybody makes claims like that, I always discount them. And I really wasn't interested in adding that to our regimen. When Dr. De Silva, whom I respect greatly, and he's a board-certified internist in New Jersey, and he's one of the leaders in natural approaches to health worldwide. I see him at conferences all over the country speaking. He's written prolifically. He has scores of proprietary uh, health and wellness products that are vitamins and minerals, and I've just been impressed with him. And so when he told me he was using CBD oil, I went, I've got to know something about this. So I said, does it work? He said, yes, it works wonderfully with our patients. What do you use it for? I use it primarily for pain. I use it for sleep and I use it for anxiety, although it can be used for other uh, other uh, problems as well. And what kind of results do you get? I get great results. I said, i tell you what, doc, if you believe in this, I'll give it a try with our guests here at the OC Health and Wellness Center. We'll, we'll buy your product. And he has a product that he developed. Just because something says CBD oil on it, it's not, they're not standardized. All different companies make this. And who knows what's in it, how much CBD oil is in it. If they say CBD oil, it's often, that's all it has. What Dr. De Silva said was important is that you have a product that's full spectrum oils. It has all the cannabinoid oils contained. So there's CBA, CBC, CBD, CBG, CBF, all these different oils which are all beneficial to your overall health. And all of these can bind to receptors in your body uh, to help turn off inflammation, anxiety, and help with sleep, and help promote homeostasis or balance within your cells. So Dr. De Silva, this is a picture of me and Dr. De Silva when he came to visit the Hotel Health and Wellness Center. By the way, he's going to be in on February what? What day is he coming in? He will be here on Wednesday, February 19th. So he'll be coming in next week on February 19th to talk about hemp oil and the benefits of full spectrum hemp oil. We have it in the oral, but we also have it in, uh, he's going to have it, and we'll have it in the topical as well. So let me give you a little bit of history about hemp. It's one of the earliest known cultivated plants, as we've said. It's been available for thousands of years. Now, CBD versus THC. THC is the tetrahydrocannabinol cannabinol that's in marijuana. It is what causes the high. CBD oil does not cause a high. Uh, hip trees grow up to, or hip plants grow up to, 10 feet tall, marijuana just grow, grow up to seven foot tall. And as I said, hemp has been used for thousands of years for rugs, for clothing, um, for ropes, and all kinds of different other uh, products. In our body, we have an endocannabinoid system. And it's the way our body maintains balance. The endocannabinoid system is a neurotransmitter system within our body that community that that tells our cells how to function. In a sense, it's, it's, it's similar to a hormone. It's present in all vertebrates. Any animal that has a backbone has an endocannabinoid system within. Why do we call them endocannabinoids? Well, they're plant compounds 
And the name of the plant out of which this terminology is derived is the cannabis plant, as I explained earlier. And the compounds within these, the hemp and the other cannabis plants are cannabinoids. These are the oils and compounds within the plants. In our body, we have receptors for these various cannabinoid oils. And why would that be that way? Because in our body, we produce a substance that binds to these receptors. In our body, we have two primary cannabinoid receptors, CB1, which is for the brain, and CB2, which is for the rest of the body. So the cannabinoid receptors, CB1, relate to our neurotransmitters in the brain. CB2 relate to the immune system. Now, the, the hormone or the, or the molecule that our body produces from arachnoid acid is anandamide. Anandamide is the endocannabinoid that binds to the endocannabinoid receptors in our brain cells and all the cells in our body. There's some other receptors, which with, they also interact, other neuroreceptors, serotonin receptors, among others. And there are enzymes in our bodies that break down anandamide. By the way, the term anandamide comes from the term ananda, which is a, which is a Indian term, Sanskrit term, that means bliss or hope. So as I mentioned, we have two types of endocannabinoid receptors, CB1 and CB2. CB1's in the brain, CB2's in the immune system and the rest of the body. So here are our endogenous cannabinoids that our body makes, anandamide and 2-AG, which is arachnid. Donoil glycerol. That's why we call it 2-AG, because even me as a doctor has a hard time pronouncing that word. Anandamide was discovered in 1992, and as I mentioned earlier, is from the term ananda, which is a Sanskrit term for bliss or for hope or for happiness. It has a very short half-life, and it's active in the CB1 receptors in the brain primarily. It's broken down in a few minutes by the enzymes in our body. And here's its function of anandamide. It gives us a sensation of pleasure, of happiness, of euphoria. It helps us cope with stress. It relieves anxiety. It causes relaxation. And its def deficiencies of these lead to increased levels of anxiety, to pain, and to sleeplessness or, or insomnia. Anandamide is also very important for learning. It's important in the brain for transfer of short-term memory. And when you don't have when you have it, it can it can help you either want to remember certain things or forget certain uh, historical events. It, it is also important in energy uptake. It suppresses appetite. It's important for energy uh, storage. And interestingly enough, it's what caused the runner high. We thought it was uh, the uh, endomorphins that were causing runners to feel high after they get on them. You know, they get a couple of miles out, all of a sudden they get this high. And everybody said it was from the endomorphins. Well, it turns out endomorphin molecule can't pass the blood-brain barrier. And it was it, what it turns out is that what is elevated when, when runners get this runner's high is anandamide. And it's what gives this high, this sense of pleasure that runners get when they run several miles and they get the runner's high. It helps balance other hormones. It's released during a woman's ovulation. It enhances romantic moods and inclinations or libido. And it's also important for pregnancy, for becoming fertile. It enables the embryo for, to be able to implant on the side of the uterus wall. 2-AG is another endocannabinoid. There are 200 times more 2-AG in the body than anandamide, and it also affects the CB1 and CB2. Those are the cannabinoid 1 and cannabinoid 2 receptors positively. It's an agonist. That means it promotes 
the activity of these receptors. In its main activity, as opposed to the anandamide, which works on the brain, it works on the rest of the body, primarily in the immune system. So here are the functions of 2-AG, the other endocannabinoid. It regulates the immune system. It suppresses inflammation. It's neuroprotective. It releases, uh, it's released when tissues are injured, and it regulates energy balance. I thought this was an interesting uh, uh, cartoon it has on here. Here's the doctor with his back to the patient, like all conventional doctors, just looking at blood tests. And he goes, well, as he looks at the blood test without evaluating the patient, who happens to be, as you can see, shot through with arrows, he goes, wow. Your cholesterol has me really concerned. And the, and the patient goes, ah, ah, ah. And there is the patient's wife, and she says, oh, uh, you might want to actually look at the patient, doctor, and listen to the patient. That's what modern medicine and conventional medicine has got away from. They treat people based upon blood tests rather than on clinic, clinical history and clinical physical signs. That's what we do at the OC Health and Wellness Center. We listen. We look and listen. We don't base our treatment primarily on blood tests. We base it upon your symptoms, your signs, and your symptoms. Okay, so when we have endocannabinoid deficiencies, Dr. Ethan uh, Rousseau is a neurologist, said that it led to a host of problems. We, we don't make enough anandamide and 2-AG in our, in our body or when it's easily broken down. We have fibromyalgia syndrome, irritable bowel syndrome, depression, anxiety, migraine headaches. All these things can be caused by low levels of your natural occurring cannabinoids. One of the, one of the uh, enzymes that breaks down cannabinoids is FAAH. And it breaks down the anandamide. When you take CBD oil or when you take hemp oil, the cannabinoid oils block the breakdown of anandamide. So it stays continuing to give you health in your brain. It helps you with your anxiety. It helps you with your, with your, your ability to sleep. It helps you with pain because the anandamide is not being broken down by the enzyme in your body which breaks down an anandamide. That's what the CBD oil does. So here's some clinical applications for your hemp oil or CBD oil. Pain, anxiety, and sleep. It can also be beneficial for memory and seizure disorders, for autism, for brain injury. It can also be beneficial in cardiovascular health. It helps lower blood pressure. It's been shown to cause apoptosis or the killing in laboratory in, in petri dishes of breast cancer cells. I'm not saying that will prevent breast cancer, but that's just one of the things it does in the lab that the hemp oil, the full spectrum hemp oil, CBD oil, and the other CB oil, cannabinoid oils, kill cancer cells in the laboratory. It's also important for brain health. It's important for your memory, for your mood. It helps with drug addiction. It helps you balance your energy. It's shown to be beneficial in combating, in combating depression and anxiety. And it, and it creates a sense of well-being. It increases the receptor function and it combats the effects of anxiety and depression in your body. It can also prove to help decrease Problems when people have problems with feeling nauseated. That's what an antiemetic does. It helps prevent nausea. It's been used in anticonvulsant and it's anti psychotropic, anti inflammatory, antioxidant. It also affects other receptors in our bodies besides the cannabinoid receptors. It, it's important. It, it, it affects the serotonin receptors, which help you with stress management. It's been used for diabetes, cancer, lupus, motor, and uh, motor disorders. It's been used with nicotine addiction, chronic neuro neuropathic pain, osteoporosis, and various pediatric disorders. So we've got some 
clinical evidence that has helped with anti-seizure. It's neuroprotective, it's anti-inflammatory, and it has pain-relieving properties. That means it's an analgesic. The anti-anxiety properties are such that people report that it relieves panic disorders, obsessive compulsive disorders, social phobias, post-traumatic stress disorders, generalized anxiety, and mild to moderate depression. It also combats aging because it's an antioxidant. It improves memory. It improves sleep, which you've got to have sleep to stay healthy. And as we mentioned before, it's an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. So it is used for replacement therapy when our when we develop problems in our endocannabinoid system from injury or from aging. So what we have produced and what Dr. De Silva has produced is a product that is full spectrum oil, full spectrum hemp oil. So it has the various flavonoids, terpenes, the other CB or cannabinoid oils contained within it. It's full spectrum. Go ahead. Uh, and your body, while your body produces these in endocannabinoids, when it gets slow by using the hemp plants, these cannabinoids in the hemp go to those receptors and they turn off the inflammation. They turn off the anxiety. They turn off the insomnia. They help with memory. It goes to those areas of the brain, to those particular receptors that will enable you to think better, to feel better, to sleep better, and to be very level as far as your moods are without any anxiety or panic attacks. So, because of Dr. De Silva's use of it, we brought in, and he's, he's, he's a mentor of mine. And because he used it successfully, I decided that we're going to have our product available for you. Do we have a picture of it? We do. Let's see if we can find that. I'll show you what we now have at the Hotel Health and Wellness Center. I am rec recommending our full spectrum hemp oil, which we purchased from Dr. De Silva's lab. It is, I mentioned, full. Can you show us a picture of it? It's full spectrum hemp oil. It's grown in America. It's organic. That means there are no pesticides contained in it. It goes to a third party for evaluation of what's in it. And it contains over 22 milligrams of the CBD oil alone and all the other hemp oils. Most of the products on the market only contain 10%. It's in a micro liposomal form. And what does that mean? Liposomal. It's contained in a less than ball in the and the uh, oil, the CB oil, the hemp, full spectrum hemp oil, is contained in these little vesicles that are water soluble. Most oil, as you know, oil is not water soluble. You put it on top of a glass of water, and what happens? Where's my glass of water? That's right. Okay. So here's a glass of water, uh, but you can see it right here. You can put a drop in the water, and here's our hemp oil. You drop it into the water, and you look, it dissolves. Oil will not dissolve in water unless it's in liposomes. Why is this important? Because it's much more easily re received by your body and assimilated into your body. So it's very rapid in its dissemination in the body. So within 30 minutes to an hour, you reach a peak and it stays at that peak for approximately six to seven hours. And then it begins to drop off. So what I recommend that you do is that you that you use this product on a twice daily basis. Do I have a picture of the it half full? Or maybe we can go back to the one with the with the water. Sure. Okay, you can see the dropper, and that would be considered one dose. You simply stick it in, you squeeze the top of the tube, and what that draws up is about a half halfway up the tube, and that's a dose. You put that under your tongue and you leave it there for 60 seconds. It's absorbed through the mucosal membranes under your tongue directly into the blood. That's the best way to get it. If you swallow it, it's still going to get into the system, but the quickest way to do it is to leave it under your tongue for approximately 60 seconds, and then you can swallow. You start off with, with one dropper uh, 
it's a half a, it turns out to be a half a dropper twice a day. If that doesn't relieve the pain then you, or the sleeplessness or the anxiety or doesn't help with other problems like memory, increase it to one, three times a day or one, four times a day. So you can take that maybe two in the morning, one in the evening, or one in the evening, two in the morning, or two in the morning, two in the evening. You gradually increase until you feel like you get a dose response. Now, let me tell you why I promote this, because I've tried it for myself, and it's been extremely helpful. At the beginning, first week in January, I played golf, and I play golf all the time. I've been a active and a very avid golfer with a low handicap. I went out and played in a golf tournament on a Monday, Tuesday night, my left side of my neck and into my shoulder was the most excruciating stabbing pain I've ever experienced in my life. I got up five times out of bed, walked almost. It was so bad. I wanted to cry. I literally said, God, if you can't take the pain away, take me home. It was horrible. That lasted for eight days. I finally went to see my chiropractor, got an adjustment. He put me on some decompression. He did an x-ray and found out that I had degenerative changes in my cervical spine, C5, C6, C7. So that's where the problem was from. So I, in turning my neck when I hit, apparently I turned it in such a way that it caused some inflammation and that was radiating. It was putting pressure on the nerve root, radiating into my shoulder. So I got an adjustment. He did some decompression on it. Didn't really help. Went back a couple of days later, did it again. Then the following week, Dr. De Silva just was coming in to talk to here to our uh, guests at the Otsieta Wellness Center uh, to give a talk on the beneficial uses of hemp oil. And we had our product available for the first time. The next day, I started taking the hemp oil product. And I took it twice a day. The, that first night, the pain was completely gone. I didn't get up. And I've used that ever since. And that's, so that's been approximately uh, almost two months now I've, I've used that. I played golf. I've done everything. I've got no pain whatsoever in my neck. When the pain went away so dramatically, I'd only had three decompressions. It, only, it, went, it went away dramatically. And I called up my chiropractor, who is Dr. Bill Shepard, who I highly recommend. I've used him for decades. I believe in chiropractors. I believe they're very helpful to help people when they have back problems or neck problems. Very, very important to go see a chiropractor. Bill Shepard on Mason Road is great. Anyway, I know that I have a mechanical problem because we did an x-ray. I also know I have inflammation. So I talked to both Dr. Um, Shepard and to Dr. De Silva. I called him up and said, why is my pain gone all of a sudden? Because Dr. Uh, Dr. Shepard said I was going to have to have 20 treatments with the decompression. And I only had three. And uh, Dr. De Silva said, and both Dr. Shepard and De Silva said, you've got a mechanical problem. The adjustment and the decompression help with that but you also have inflammation and that's what the hemp oil help, help with. I am a believer in it now. I wasn't before I used it for myself. So I highly recommend it. And we've had great reports about it. So this is a product we contain. And now look, you can, it costs a hundred. I think it's $120 is what the product costs. And I think it's 10 CCs, two ounces. You can buy it on Amazon for 30 bucks, but you can't buy full spectrum microsomal, uh, organic, American-grown hemp oil. You don't know what you're getting. You can buy it at the grocery store. You can buy it at your uh, local gas stations. It's sold everywhere. I believe in this product because we have third-party evaluation, both in the product and we've third-party evaluated patients' blood levels, and we know that we get good blood levels that peak within an hour and stay about six to seven hours. So my recommendation for you is to give it a try and see if it works. Is it going to work for everybody? No, nothing works for everybody. But I'm going to tell you what, I had the worst pain I ever had in my life, and I don't have it anymore, and I use this. And I've heard great stories from people. As I've read articles over the years, I just found them hard to believe. But it's been a real godsend to a lot of people. And I highly recommend it if you have problems with sleep, anxiety, or pain. Try our Hotsi Vitamins Full Spectrum Hemp Oil. We have it here. Thanks so much for joining us. God bless you. And make sure... Every day you look in the mirror and say to yourself, you're alive, you're awake, you're alert, and you're enthusiastic. Be the most enthusiastic person in your company or in your life today, and you'll encourage people around you.